Election campaigns, usually a time when candidates put their best foot forward. But unfortunately, this time out, some candidates have a foot-in-mouth problem. Here's our political specialist, Cynthia Mulligan, who tells us that liberal leader Kathleen Wynne's message was derailed today by just such an occurrence. Cynthia. Well, that's right. A pair of off-color posts by liberal candidates have some wondering whether political parties are doing a good enough job of vetting candidates. And has the liberal leader apologizing? Tim Hudak's plan for austerity is a recipe for recession, plain and simple. That's the message liberal leader Kathleen Wynne wanted to get out today, but she was sidetracked by this. A Facebook post shared by Liberal candidate David Mossy, which compares the behinds of women who do squats with those who don't. And then there is this Facebook post by Liberal candidate Jack Uppel, which compares women's brains to men's. It says in part, women can learn many languages but cannot find solutions to problems. It derailed the Liberal leader, who had to do damage control during the morning Q&A with the media amidst allegations by opponents of sexism. As the first female Premier, I've spent my life um, dealing with, uh, from time to time, inappropriateness in society. At the time, Wynne wasn't aware there was more. I, I, don't, I don't know about a third one. Ah, but there is. A tweet by London Liberal candidate Nick Steinberg that talks about macking on ladies. I think the lesson is uh, be respectful of each other and, uh, and realize that, um, that when you put something out on Twitter or on Facebook, it's, uh, it's out there immediately for people to comment on. It's worthy to note all the social media gaffes were pointed out by either the NDP or the Conservatives. This is election time, after all. Every opportunity will be seized. I think the Premier needs a more clear answer as to why she keeps these candidates on. But hang on, Liberal candidates aren't the only ones who have broken political correctness boundaries on social media. Last summer, PC candidate Wayne Wetlaufer tweeted, Is that why so many females vote Liberal? They get all their information from the Toronto Star. Less informed. And that candidate, by the way, is still running for Tim Hudak's party in Kitchener Centre. Wayne Wetlaufer apologized after a social media backlash and removed the tweet.